everyone, so it is June now, so time for favorites video, and I know I didn't do one last month, but if you've noticed, I really haven't been posting a whole lot in the last month or so. I did graduate from college in the end of April, so that was just a really busy time for me, getting everything um, ready for graduation, and then moving, and just getting settled, all that stuff. So, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I've been loving throughout the month of May as well as some of these I started kind of using in the month of April as well. But I figured since I didn't show you that month's favorites, then I'll just show you now. So, yeah. So starting off with face products, I tried a new drugstore foundation and I love it. Uh, this is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation, and this is what it looks like. And I first heard about this, and the reason I decided to try it was because I was actually watching one of Fleur's videos, Fleur de Force, here on YouTube. And um, she was talking, it was her video, it was like best and worst Rimmel products um, that she has tried and liked, disliked, whatever. And this is one she said she really liked. So I saw it, I thought, you know, why not try it? And... I love it so, so much. I'm in the color 101 Classic Ivory, and um, it does have an SPF of 18, so that's really, really great for, you know, the fact that it's almost summer, and I'll be outside, so keep my face protected. My next favorite actually goes along with that foundation. Um, when I first bought that, they didn't have the concealer in my shade, so I was like, well, I'll just try the foundation. And when I did find the concealer, I had already tried it and liked it, so I figured why not get the concealer to try as well, and ended up loving it. So this is what it looks like. And I am in the color 125 Fair. And it is a 2-in-1 concealer and highlighter. So I use this kind of where I would normally highlight. Um, I use this as my under eye concealer to brighten. And then down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, a uh, little on my chin and forehead. And I just, I really like it. I also really like the applicator. Um, it's got kind of that like squeezy tube, which that part's kind of annoying, but the little brush, it's really great to just kind of, you know, sweep on under your eyes, and I just, I love this foundation. It's not too cakey looking, um, and really nice. My next things to show you are eye products, and the first thing is an eyeliner, and this one I actually got, um, because it was on sale at CVS. Probably wouldn't have tried it otherwise, but I was like, it's a pretty color, and it's discounted so why not and this is the grow luscious from Revlon um, lash liner and this is in the color um, espresso so by the name you can tell it is just a really dark brown color and um, yeah I just I love this for lining my upper lash line mostly um, especially if it's a day that I'm just kind of feeling lazy and I don't want to do a full on eye look but I want something so I'll put this on my upper lash line and smudge it out a little bit and it's just amazing and it's got I think a little bit of like golden shimmer kind of throughout it so it really just kind of brightens the eye and it's really really pretty and I love this and I'll probably have to repurchase it when I do run out of this because it's amazing and it is from the drugstore it's Revlon so it's inexpensive Next, I've really been loving using NYX Jumbo Pencils for bases and liners and just everything. Just really, really been loving them in general. But these three colors I find myself using the most throughout the last two months. The first one is the one I would use as a base, just solely as a base, not necessarily a liner. But it is in the color Pure Gold. And it's, I mean, really, really pretty color. And it works great. If you're using um, those like bronzy colors in the Naked palette, that's what I was using this for a lot. And it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. And then the other two um, is Night, number 626. And this is a dark brown, kind of with golden shimmer. So it's a little bit similar to that liner that I just showed. Uh, but this works really, really well. Also to smudge on the upper lash line or to use as a base or the lower lash line or whatever. Uh, love that color and then the last one is number 601 black bean and this one I don't necessarily use as a base for eyeshadow because I don't usually wear like super super dark um, like eyeshadow all over the lid but this is really great for tight lining or I'll use it like as a liner or something like that but I do use this quite often so um, just the NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencils 
in general are amazing. The last two eye products, I've got a couple Maybelline color tattoos here. Just realized, got a lot of stuff from the drugstore, so uh, it's a good, good month for favorites videos. Um, but yeah, so these two, unfortunately, I don't know if you can get, but this first one is in Barely Beige, and it is a champagne-y color. So this one, I think, I don't hold me to this because I don't have uh, Barely Branded, but um, from what I've seen, I feel like they look a lot, they look pretty similar, but that one's not necessarily as frosty. Again, don't hold me to that, but I know that one is now in the permanent collection. Uh, this also is very similar to um, Bear Study from MAC. If you have that, um, I have that one and love it too, but yeah. So this is what Barely, what is it, Barely Beige looks like, and now I'm getting them all screwed up. And then the next one is... Um, Rich Mahogany, which came out with the same collection as that. So I'm sorry if you don't have them and you can't find them now, but I just wanted to show you guys what I've been loving, and maybe you do have them, so who knows. But yeah, so this is Rich Mahogany. Another just similar to two of those colors. Apparently I've just been loving, like, chocolatey brown colors with golden shimmer. As far as just a lip balm, I've really been using my EOS lip balms a lot recently. This one is the... I don't know, I know it's the mint one, I don't know the exact name because, you know, they don't have it on the actual packaging just when you first buy it. But, yeah, this is the light blue one and I've been using it a lot, just kind of, you know, reaching for it in my room. So, that's some good stuff. Next is a Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in the color Pink Pop. I feel like I might have shown this in a favorites before. But I have been wearing this quite often lately and really, really love this and love the formula of these lip glosses. So amazing. So the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. I wore this a lot when I was in Colorado just because it was easy and I didn't have to keep reapplying it every, you know, 30 minutes type thing. And this is in the color Honey, which it's, you know, one of the lighter shades. So it's really great for natural, like, daytime looks. And then my last lip favorite is a brighter color, and this is the Revlon Lip Butter in Wild Watermelon. So, nice bright, uh, like, reddish pink color, and really great if you want kind of a brighter lip, but you don't want anything too out there and crazy. So... I love these, and these are actually, this is one that came out with the Summer Collection. I don't know if it's limited edition or not, so if you see these and you like it, then go ahead, I would say, and just pick it up when you see them. The next two items to show you guys are fragrances, and um, yeah, so this one I actually bought this last month here in May, and it is the DKNY Be Delicious. It's a green one, and I've wanted this perfume for over a year now, and I'd smell it and I was like, no, I have other perfumes. I don't often go out and buy perfume, but just because it is kind of expensive, most of them. But this one I ended up getting, I figured, why not? Alto was having, like, when you buy um, fragrance, it was like $30 or more or something. They're having it now, but um, the last time I did it, you got a free, like, tote, and I was like, it's probably not like a $30 tote, let's be real, but it was cute and I wanted this, so it justified it. And. I actually ended up getting two totes that night because I didn't realize that with a DKNY perfume purchase, you got one. So that was awesome. Bonus. But yeah, it just it smells so good. It's green apple kind of like... Yeah, it smells like apple. I don't know. It's, it's amazing. Go smell it if you have the chance and you don't have it already because... Really, really good smelling. Next one actually is a little one. And this one I took... Um, also when I was in Colorado because it's small and it's great on the go and I had this for also the wedding that I went to last weekend because I actually had to travel to go to that as well um, back to like where I went to school so this was great to just kind of throw in my purse and I don't even think I said the name this is Clinique Happy and it's just a little trial size whatever sample size but it smells really good, and I've actually used kind of a bit of it, so. So for my last two favorites, they are fashion items, and this first one here is a dress, 
And I got this so I could wear it to my senior send-off for Kappa Delta. Um, we have that every year when the seniors are leaving. Um, kind of get together, have like a little dinner and everything like that. So This is the dress that I ended up getting. Um, it's from TJ Maxx. I don't know if I said that. But it's all black and the top has a um, faux leather collar as well as this uh, detail down here. And then it's all lace if you can see that. So that's what the top looks like. It is sleeveless and then it cinches here at the waist and it goes like kind of mid thigh. So it's not too short or too long. For my last one um, are some booties and this is what they look like. They're just black booties and let's see what's the brand. They're from Steve Madden. I got these quite a while ago at DSW I believe so I'm not sure if they make the exact one but I'm sure they have something similar to them. Um, it is just a black booty, so yeah. I wore that with a dress actually, and I've worn it with just a lot of different things. I really, really like these, and they're really cute and comfortable, and I can wear them all day without my feet like screaming at me to get them off. Alright, so those are all of my favorites from the month of May, as well as some from April, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all later. Bye!